Good day, everybody. So the other day I spoke about having this heart-brain harmony, and I promised that I will speak again about why do we need to have it and how can we go about getting this heart and the brain coherence to take place in the body. Now, Dr. Roland McCratty, um, he is a part of the, the founder of the Heart Math Institute. Now, he is part of the lecture, lectures that um, I've been learning about using technology and using digital technology to monitor how we feel and how we can actually uh, heal our bodies through finding ways and looking at feedback that we can get from digital technology. And it's just fascinating. So he talks about that the heart is connected to intuition and that is the bridge to the higher self. Now, when I started to look further into this and, you know, we talk about the higher self, we hear people talk about the higher self, you know, especially if you're on that spiritual path. So what is the higher self? Now, I'm going to give you my own version of what I think the higher self is. Now, for me, the higher self is this connection with your own divine, miraculous divinity within yourself. So when we find, you know, we hear people talking about healing miraculously. We hear people attracting a life of abundance. And then we want to find out how do they do it? What makes them different to us? Now, when you remove yourself from the ego mode and you move to the self mode, then that is when you are connecting to your higher self. Now, most often we say that the higher self is the universal energy, is universal love. And yes, we do have that electromagnetic field that is flowing continuously from the earth. And because we also have the same electromagnetic fields flowing from us, from, the, from our hearts, and it's flowing from us, and we are connected to every other thing because all these energies that we feel and sense from other people, it's part of this electromagnetic biofield or whatever you want to call it, it's a web. So how I feel will affect you, how you feel will affect me, and how we feel will affect Mother Earth. And that is why there's so many different calamities that takes place. And when we look at all of these disasters, we may think it's natural, especially if there's a flood or if there's a drought, we think it's natural. Yes, it is. We call it natural disasters because it happens um, in the climate. It's climate change. But when you look deeper into it, our energies actually affect climate change. You know, our actions and our behaviors affect what is happening to our Mother Earth. So why do we need to have this heart-brain harmony? Now, if you suffer with illnesses, you know, if you do suffer with any illnesses and you would like to share, um, please do so. So if you suffer with any illnesses, remember the illness is in the body. This physical body is just one layer of your consciousness. We have five different layers. So your physical body, this layer, the, the, the physical body that you are seeing when you look at yourself in the mirror, when we have these emotional traumas taking place in the background, it's actually taking place out of the physical body in the vital body, and that then feeds into the physical body, and that's where illnesses start to breed. So how can we change this? How can we be pro how can we be proactive and pro-conscious of healing ourselves yes many a times you can pop a pill many a times people that have chronic illnesses will need to take medication but that medication on the long term and on the long run is affecting other parts of the body so if we want to if we want to be able to heal and get rid of some of the feelings uh, to get rid of some of the the illnesses in our body then we have to find our own mechanisms within us that makes us natural healers and we all have this ability but we need to tap into this consciousness we need to tap into our own higher self to reach this potential to find this potential of self healing Yes, 
you have an illness, you need to be aware of this illness, you need to connect with yourself, you need to learn about your body, you need to learn about how your body works, how your body functions, what makes you sad, what makes you happy, when are you emotional, what does your emotions do to you physically? We need to constantly be reflecting and going within ourselves. And one of the best ways to actually connect with our inner selves is through silencing the mind consciously. So when we silence the mind consciously by doing meditations, by doing yoga, by doing um, other activities like Tai Chi, you know, movement that allows you to reduce your brain waves because when you reduce your brain waves from beta waves right down to maybe alpha or even theta waves then you are able to take more control over your thoughts you're able to take more control over what's happening inside of you so once you recognize that you have an illness and this illness is you know when you have an illness and your body is not working the way it should it does make you upset, it does make you sad, it makes you frustrated, it makes you angry, and it makes you worried. And because of all of these things cause more anxiety in the body, it takes your body longer to heal. So you have to distract the pain, you have to distract, you have to distract the illness by doing things like meditation, by go, by you know, sleep. Sleep is one of the most powerful mechanisms to heal your body. If you are not getting between seven to nine hours of sleep a day, you every night, you will find that you will not have this harmony in your body. So you need to make sure that you switch off and you switch in. So when we switch off technology, we switch off the lights, we switch off um, and we, we follow the circadian rhythm of life. You know, we wake up in the morning when the sun rises, we go to bed and we, you know, we stop eating at a certain time when the sun sets. All of this whole circadian rhythm will help us to connect within ourselves. Exercising is also very, very important. But most importantly, understand why we need to do this. You know, our heart, when it talks to the brain, it talks through, you know, it talks, it communicates with the brain, you know, through hormones, you know, through nerve impulses, through vibrations from our electromagnetic fields, and also through pressure, you know, biophysical pressure waves. And these waves occur in our bodies constantly because our bodies are mainly made up of water, between 60 to 78% of water. Now, today I'm going to just talk about what happens when we don't have this, uh, this coherence or this harmony. So the first thing that happens is uh, you start to feel quite stressed, you feel anxious, you can get into a very depressive state, suicidal state, and I call this the sad thug. Stress, anxiety, depression, I call it the sad thug because it literally steals away your life, it steals away how you're feeling, it steals away, it steals away your present moment. You also start to find that the body goes into chronic trauma, and this chronic trauma causes you know low immunity in your your in your body. You start suffering with an autoimmune um, diseases and so on. And because of this, illnesses start to breed in the body. Because of that, you have low immunity. And then when somebody is experiencing illness in the body, they want to shut themselves away from everybody else. You know, you find people, when they go to the doctors, especially with an autoimmune, um, autoimmune disease, uh, the doctors will put you onto steroids. You know, you, you, because your body is not producing enough cortisol, uh, your body, they will put you onto steroids, which is made up of cortisol, a lot, uh, most most often, and the the this cortisol then changes the way you eat. It then makes you hungry, so you end up eating more. It then allows you to, you know, you you find that your body starts to change. You start to um, feel bloated. You start to to feel like you're putting on weight. And when this happens, you want to just shut yourself away from everybody else. Most often, this, what ha this is what happens. And then you lack 
the connection that you have with other people. See, we all are human beings, we're social beings. Like how we have to have our own harmony in our body, we also have to have social harmony because we all help each other to keep this balance in nature and in life. And, um, you know, when this happens, you feel unhappy. You feel unhappy because you feel that you constantly doubt yourself. You lose your confidence. And then because you are in the spiral, this downward spiral, what happens next? You start to attract misery. You start to feel sorry for yourself. You start to really, you start to go inside of yourself and you start to recognize how broken you are instead of finding that brokenness and fixing it. And I see so many of my clients in similar situations. They come to me when they are literally broken, where their physical body is suffering and struggling. I, uh, I see people with cancer, I see people with gut issues, I see people that have autoimmune diseases. And most often, 99% of most of these issues are caused because of stress and anxiety and depression in the body. So when all of these things happen, it becomes like a vicious cycle. You start feeling weak. You start feeling this innate weakness. You end up having poor sleep. You end up not eating properly. So then you start to develop gut issues. And then you find that you don't want to go out for exercising because you don't feel great about yourself. You don't feel confident about yourself. And then you end up finding you have even your, your physical state worsens. Then your mental and emotional state also are affected. And this inner turmoil that takes place inside of you, it's hard to actually stop that monkey mind chattering constantly to you. And this is when you find it very difficult to ground, ground yourself and find that inner peace. And you find that you are constantly chasing something because you feel this discontentment. Now, the reality is, guys, that at this moment in the world, there's so much of disharmony. With COVID being around for such a long time, there's so many people losing loved ones. You know, we've had so many we've had so many people die across the world and each one of them that have passed away that have passed away from this lifetime has left family behind that's mourning for them that's grieving for them and that again becomes this 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 turmoil and this trauma that takes place inside the body so we need to make peace we need to find peace within ourselves to heal ourselves so that we can start to project the energies that will help other people. So today we had our first, which I'm going to do many, one or you know, many more. We ha we had our first circle of loving intentions this morning, and uh, I had a group of people that sent intentions, loving intentions, to one of my clients, and it was just phenomenal. But I will be talking about that again in other videos so i hope this ha helps you i hope by you understanding when you don't have heart brain harmony what really happens to your body i hope you understand that this is the reason this is the big why why you need to change your behaviors and your actions and your post the way you process your th thoughts you have to start to change them because when you start to change these things, then you'll start to see a snowball effect. And um, I've seen hundreds of people change within a matter of like, you know, 30 days, 60 days or 90 days or whatever. Everybody's times are very different. So where do you start? You start now. You start now by recognizing what happens to you when you don't have heart, brain, harmony or coherence. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how you can, what can you do to start having this heart, brain coherence? Because the only way to heal is from within yourself. Yes, we do have doctors, we do have medicine, we do have all of these things. 
but we need to become pro, we need to be conscious and remember that pro-consciousness med uh, medicine should be one of the choices for your healing. Lots of love, like what my mom always says, have an open heart and an open mind, and that is the key to your own healing, happiness, and inner love and peace. Lots of love.